roasting those other holiday meats. No doubt about it, holiday time is turkey time. Yet numerous other meats are also traditional in holiday gatherings. Get me to the farm. Of the 266 million turkeys produced in 2006, 30% were served during the holidays. Yet numerous other meats are also traditional in holiday gatherings. Some families choose a rib roast, others a ham, and some will have the butcher arrange a crown roast of lamb. If a hunter's in the clan, that family may serve wild game, such as duck, venison, or pheasant. Small families may opt for a bird smaller than a turkey, such as a capon, duck, goose, or Cornish hens, or a small cut of meat like a pork tenderloin or veal roast. Whatever the choice, have a food thermometer on hand to determine when the meat has reached safe temperature. For special holiday meals, the cook wants everything perfect and perfectly safe. The Safety of Special Holiday Meats When choosing your holiday meat, be assured that all beef, lamb, pork, veal, and poultry sold at your supermarket has been inspected for wholesomeness by the USDA or state inspection systems. Once your purchase is at home, refrigerate it immediately. Cook or freeze fresh poultry within one to two days. Fresh meats, three to five days. There are two types of hams, fully cooked and those that need cooking. Fully cooked hams may be eaten cold or reheated to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. When storing these hams, observe the use-by date on hams sealed at the plant. Use store-wrapped cook ham portions within three to five days. Cook before eating hams must be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit and allowed to rest for at least three minutes to destroy harmful bacteria that may be present. Use within seven days. Since wild game killed by hunters has not been federally or state inspected, care must be taken to handle it safely. Parasites such as trichinella and toxoplasma may be present. Improper handling can cause bacterial contamination as well as off flavors. Dress game in the field right after shooting. Dress meat must be chilled as soon as possible. Keep the game cold, below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, until it can be cooked or frozen. For more information about wild game, Contact your state or county extension offices. About Roasting Because holidays are special times, people tend to spend more money for a specialty meat. These fancy meats and poultry may cost more because they're exceptionally tender or special. Roasting is recommended method for cooking tender meats. To roast, Meat is placed on a rack in a shallow and covered pan and is cooked by indirect dry heat of the oven. To keep the meat tender and minimize shrinkage due to the evaporation of moisture, moderately low oven temperatures of 325 degrees Fahrenheit should be used. The USDA does not recommend cooking meat and poultry at oven temperatures lower than 325 degrees Fahrenheit because these foods could remain in the danger zone, temperatures of 40 degrees to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, for too long. Bacteria, which may be present on these foods, multiply rapidly at these temperatures. Boned and rolled meats require more cooking time per pound than bone-in cuts, because it takes longer for the heat to penetrate through the solid meat. Background information on holiday meats. Beef and veal. Beef and veal are leaner these days, so overcooking them will dry the meat. Cook all raw beef and veal roasts, steaks, and chops to a minimum internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit, as measured with a food thermometer, before removing meat from the heat source. For safety and quality, Allow the meat to rest for at least three minutes before carving or consuming.
For reasons of personal preference, consumers may choose to cook meat at higher temperature. Lamb Technically, spring lamb is meat from lamb slaughtered from March to the first week in October. The term comes from a time when lambs born in harsh winter weather would have little chance to survive to the next year. Today, with more protected animal husbandry conditions, enjoying lamb is not confined to a particular season of the year. Some people may view lamb as a fatty meat. However, leg and loin lamb meat has a similar fat content to lean beef and pork loin when trimmed of visible fat. The fell is a paper-like covering on lamb and is usually removed from steaks and chops at the retail market. Leave the fell on leg roast to help retain shape. Cook all raw lamb steaks, chops, and roasts to a minimum internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit as measured with a food thermometer before removing meat from the heat source. As mentioned above, for safety and quality, allow the meat to rest for at least three minutes before carving and consuming. For reasons of personal preference, consumers may choose to cook lamb meat to higher temperatures. Pork Because hogs are 50% leaner than they were 25 years ago, today's pork chop cooks faster and can dry out when overcooked. Years ago, when pork had more fat than it does today, the meat could be overcooked and still be fairly tender and flavorful. Cook all raw pork steaks, chops, and roasts to a minimum internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit as measured with a food thermometer before removing the meat from the heat source. For safety and quality, it's best to allow the meat to rest for at least three minutes before carving or consuming. As mentioned above, for reasons of personal preference, some consumers may choose to cook the meat to higher temperatures. Wild Game To remove the gamey flavor, soak wild meat or poultry in a solution of either one tablespoon salt or one cup vinegar per quart of cold water. Use enough solution to cover the game completely and soak it overnight in the refrigerator. Discard the soaking solution before cooking. Wild game is leaner than its domestically raised counterpart. Trim any visible fat. That's where a gamey flavor can reside. Then roast tender cuts of venison and game birds, if skinned, covered with oil-soaked cheesecloth or strips of bacon to prevent the meat from drying out. Set them in a rack in a shallow pan and roast in the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. For tenderness and doneness, whole game birds should be cooked to a minimum safe internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit as measured with a food thermometer in the innermost part of the thigh and wing and the thickest part of the breast. Duck and Goose most domestic ducks are a breed called white pekin. The term Long Island duck is a trade name. Domestic ducklings have a great deal of fat. While it helps them float when swimming, fat is undesirable in a cooked duck. Therefore, it's recommended to prick or score the skin of a whole duck before cooking, so much of the fat will render out. Although domestic geese are larger than ducks, they're cooked in the same manner. Oven cooking bags are helpful for cooking these birds because they hold the fat for easy disposal and keep the oven splatter-free. Capons and Cornish Hens These specialty birds are chickens. Cornish Hens are small broiler fryers weighing one to two pounds. Capons are male chickens which are surgically unsexed, weighing about four to seven pounds. They have generous quantities of tender light meat. Roast them as you would any chicken. For approximate cooking times to use and meal planning, see the following chart compiled from various resources. Cook all raw pork, beef, lamb, and veal steaks, chops, and roast to a minimum internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit as measured with a food thermometer before removing meat from the heat source. 
as mentioned for safety and quality, allow the meat to rest for at least three minutes before carving or consuming. Additionally, for reasons of personal preference, some consumers may choose to cook meat to higher temperatures. And I feel like New York City. Get me to the farm. Get me to the farm. Get me to the farm.